What's happening, good people? Uh, Fat Tuesday is coming up. So the biggest thing I wanted to do was uh, incorporate some um, Mardi Gras style food. Normally, uh, it's a big holiday for us because that's my business's anniversary, Fat Tuesday. So we do a lot of different pop-ups all across the, the city of Naperville and just all throughout the western suburbs. But today, we're going to do a little something different. We're going to do a little vegetable gumbo. So we're going to change up some of the flavors, but we'll keep the same main parameters. Uh, we're going to use some nice root vegetables, some nice bright peppers just to give us some color. I like a little heat, so I've got some serranos here. And then we're going to, I've got our roux cooking down over here, which we'll take a look at in a minute. I like it nice, rich, and chocolatey, so it gives our, our gumbo some nice body. First thing we're going to do is dice up these veggies. I'm going to start with a little sweet potato. I like using the sweet potatoes as opposed to, say, regular potatoes just because they have this nice vibrant color. And just to me, sweet potatoes taste better, so it's just mainly a personal preference. And on these, you don't want to dice them too small, just like bite size, so I go a little bit larger dice. The biggest thing you got to remember is gumbo is going to be on the stove for a while. So you'll make sure you have a nice heavy bottom pot when you're cooking it. Fennel. I love fennel. I like to use fennel in a lot of soups, a lot of stocks. Just changes it up a little bit. Fennel and celery root I like to use. So this right here, get that nice bulb. Dice it up. Yeah, you get that good smell of anise. Even the green you're gonna put up in there. Doing it all. So normally when you make a roux, you've gotta put the, uh, the mirepoix in there. Celery, carrot, onion, bell pepper, but to replace the celery, that's why I'm using the fennel. Fennel is way more flavor than celery. And we got some whole garlic here. I'm not even going to chop it. I'm going to throw that in whole. The green pepper. Using a red onion. I'm gonna dice that also. Serranos. I'm leaving the seeds in. I like my gumbo with a little heat. That's how it should be. So if you don't like spicy, just I would leave these out. You could always just keep uh, double up on the green peppers or maybe add a poblano. Now we've also got some okra that we're going to throw in, but we're going to throw that in a little bit later. Like once all the vegetables have cooked down and started to sweat, just because Okra tends to get a little slimy. I like to keep the like to make sure the okra has a little body, so I'll throw that in towards the middle of cooking. And then this here, I'm gonna throw a little apple in here. Just for a little fun. I'm dropping in our seasonings right on top. And a little secret seasoning. I can't tell you what this is. You got to buy it. All right. I'm going to take it over to the stove. 
Now, a roux, uh, equal parts of butter and flour or oil and flour. Um, generally, if you're using oil, oil holds heat longer than butter does, but for me, butter has better flavor. So when you're using butter, you gotta go real gentle, real slow, keep the fire real low. It'll take a while, but it's definitely worth it. If you're using oil, same thing. You don't wanna burn the flour, because it'll give you a, a, a burnt aftertaste to it. But if you slow cook it, take your time with it, you have a really, it'll be like a real nutty flavor, and then it'll make your roux very rich, very creamy. So right here, if you take a look at the color, this started out white. Now we have like a nice peanut color, almost caramel, going on right here. We wanna let that cook down just a little bit more so it can get nice and dark. You know, not as dark as a mole, just a little bit under that. All right, so now we're just mixing up the vegetables. Give it like a nice little sear, nothing too heavy. So we got a bunch of different types of vegetables in here. Uh, biggest thing we want to do is just make sure all of it gets some heat, incorporate our seasoning. Um, the sweet potatoes are the thing that's going to take the longest to cook. Everything else in here is going to cook pretty quickly, even the funnel. I like to just keep giving it a stir. Yeah. Oh, you can definitely smell the serranos in there. And also want to make sure that that garlic gets nice and cooked down. Look at that. Beautiful. So we're going to let that simmer, let that cook for probably about another six minutes. And then after that, we'll start our deglazing process. We'll hit it with a little veggie stock to keep it vegetables, uh, to keep it a vegetarian uh, gumbo. And then we'll drop uh, some um, whole uh, diced tomatoes in there. So I've added the okra in. It's nice and simmering down, look at this. Great color, and then this is a beautiful color of the roux. Now we're gonna mix it in. A little bit at a time, not too much. Yes. Look at that, baby. A little bit more. What's the roux gonna do? All right, so adding the roux to it is gonna thicken it up and also give it a nice rich flavor because all that butter and oil that we caramelize down, you know, give it that body that you used to gumbo having, you know? I like my gumbo just a little above nappe, but not like, you know, gelatinous, you know? See, like. It, uh, it, when you pour it over the rice, it should be able to like stand up by itself, not fall right through and blend through, you know? Yeah. So we'll let that simmer a little bit. And as the roux cooks, it'll get even thicker. So just be careful about how much you're pouring in. Um, even if you did say a pound of butter to two cups of, uh, of flour, you don't wanna, you might not need all that for the amount of, uh, gumbo that you're making. You know, so I would just add slowly, you'll start to see it get thick. And you, know, you just keep stirring it a little. Now you just leave it alone. Let that thing go for a little bit. All right, so we made a little uh, quick uh, instant dirty rice. Uh, just go to the store and pick some up. It's not, I, I, I'll use Zatarans, especially if I have to do it in bulk. And this is a good amount of gumbo, so. Um, just using the Zatarans. I did add a little chopped uh, fresh parsley to it just to give it a little color. So we got a couple of uh, taste testers that we're going to make up a nice couple bowls here for. I like to serve this with a little cornbread, but there was this fresh bread, this fresh oat bread today that I saw when I was at the market. So I had to get after it. So I'll give the fella some of this. A little uh, oil right there for them to dip it in. And then, nice vegetable gumbo. Oh yeah. Nice little green onion on top.
and any of these hot sauces would go fantastic with it. So got a little vegetarian gumbo. Not that I'm a vegetarian, but it is something nice, a little bit lighter. Um, great flavors. You get all the natural flavors from the vegetables, the sweet potatoes, the fennel, the fresh bell peppers, the fresh garlic. Adding the okra in at the end was awesome. And then we throw a little bit of the um, red onion in there too. So a uh, nice light seasoning, nothing too crazy, nothing to overpower it, but the serrano peppers are very potent in there. So you do definitely get some burn to it, a little bit of heat, but there's nothing lingering, nothing you can't handle. Um, this is a good time of year to get down with the spices. So for Fat Tuesday, please make yourself some gumbo and enjoy life because that's what it's all about, people. All right, so this weekend, being Fat Tuesday, we're doing pop-ups this weekend at three different breweries. Friday will be our first time ever at Flush Brewing in Barrington. Saturday will be at Wolf Den out in uh, Bloomingdale. And then we're coming home, Naperville, Noon Whistle. will be there from noon to four. So uh, come check us out. We'll have our hot sauces on display. Uh, what label for us and taking everything made by Gendo Spices. Um, not gonna lie, this one here is probably my personal favorite one. And then we've also got a, a uh, my dry rub. I'm gonna be selling that too that we make. So uh, if you guys need anything, just please come out and see us. Come out and support local business. Um, and definitely, hugs are free. <laughs>